Hi everyone, I thought I'd just do a video on what's been going on in the past week with eBay and Amazon. Um, I think most people know um, I was in hospital the week just gone with my daughter Olive getting some casts on her leg from the Tuesday to the Friday. So I couldn't really get much listing done um, in that time. I did manage to do, you know, I did take some photos with me and do a little bit of listing. Um, but it wasn't much, much listing going on, to be honest. Um, she's fine, by the way. She's, um, she's got her casts on and, um, she seems, she's quite happy. She's just her same old self, which is good. So, um, yeah, um, yeah, hopefully everything's okay with that for the next few months or so. So, um, I had my eBay shop on holiday mode from the Monday and I actually put it up until the following Monday, uh, today, sorry, but um, yeah, I turned it off on the Friday, uh, I ended up getting back on the Friday and uh, I didn't really want to sort of miss out on any sales, so when I put my holiday shop on holiday mode, I still let things sell in the background so the buyers can see that I won't be posting the items out until a certain date um, and the sales can still come through and it's typical really because I think I'd have been having a few slow days and then as soon as I turned the holiday settings on the next morning I woke up and I had three big sales um, come through um, and then it all went a bit quiet but luckily that uh, Amazon shipment that went out on the Monday sort of managed to make the week go okay um so on ebay for, this is just the monday to the friday now on on ebay um i had uh five sales which was uh which came to 162 pounds um on, on in them five days on the ebay and i did notice actually when i did take off my holiday settings for the, over the weekend, um, of some quite good sales came through. Um, so, yeah, I think that did make a difference. Or I suppose we're getting to the end of the month now as well when, um, you know, the monthly people who get paid, like monthly salaries, are getting paid as well. Um, so that was interesting. Um, what else has gone on? Oh, I so I always used to do a one-day dispatch. I always used to dis, um, dispatch every day, uh, Monday to Saturday. But... I've changed it now to two days uh, just because uh, Olive needs now a lot more care. Well, obviously, she needs a lot of care and attention anyway, but she needs a lot more um, now. And I can't um, put as much time into eBay and Amazon as I have been doing over the past few months. So, um, yeah, it will. I've just gone a two, on to a two-day dispatch because I just want to make life just a little bit easier at the moment in um, in eBay world. Okay, so this week I accidentally, well, last week, sorry, I sent out um, two wrong items to different people. So I packed, you know, I packeted the items up, packeted, packaged the items up, and um, and then I put the labels on different. Um, uh, the, the wrong labels on each on each packet um, so the first lady got in touch with me and said she'd received the wrong item and she just wanted a full refund she didn't actually want the original item for whatever reason and the second lady um, she wanted the the item that she'd paid for both were okay about it um, but what I just wanted to note was the eBay prepaid postage label thing. Um, so when I accepted the return, I clicked for uh, automatic, um, like a, a label that prints off. So the customer doesn't have to pay any postage. The label's just there and they drop it off with the post office uh, and then it's hassle free for whatever reason the lady didn't use her that postage label and she actually sent it she sent it herself with hermes um so i called up ebay and asked them to cancel and refund me the prepaid postage label and um i think i got through to someone who was probably on their first day on the job um when i was talking to them they they weren't sort of listening to what i was actually saying and answering different questions you know um questions that I hadn't asked and then when he finally sort of realized what I was actually trying to say 
he was just saying, oh, we can't help you at this time. We can't help you at this time. It, it was really odd. Um, usually them chats are quite helpful, but I just got through to the wrong guy. So um, I was going to call it, but I thought I'd just ask quickly on the Facebook group. And Caroline Matthews mentioned that you don't actually get charged the prepaid postage label until it's been used um, because it's tracked as well. Um, so yeah, just in case that happens to anyone else, you, you won't, um, you don't get charged that pre-postage label until they've actually sent it. So uh, it means I don't have to go and chase that now. Um, so that's what happened with that. And then um, I've had to send the item back out and I just told the other lady to keep the item that she received because the other one didn't want her item back and it just wasn't worth it for me postage wise to to keep paying postage costs for me to get it here there and everywhere so um yeah it was just something that I had to um make a little bit of a loss on not much but um still a bit annoying you know having to ha deal with that hassle especially since it's my mistake um so that's what went on with eBay um on Amazon, so UPS, they came and picked up the parcels last Monday, three went up there, um, and then had, from this is again from the Monday to the Friday, had 13 sales on Amazon, um, and that was a total of £389 um, over there, remember that, you know, that's just the sales, obviously there's a lot of money that's got to come, come out of that, but it was just nice to have that in the background, um, and not sort of having to worry about that one. Also going on with Amazon, so I've had three ongoing returns with them as well. Um, two I've spoken about in previous videos, and I'm waiting for um, waiting for them to to come back into the warehouse. Um, they haven't as of yet, but when they do, um, I'll be calling up Amazon and um, trying to get it, see whether I can resell them or or whether they're just need to be destroyed or sent back to me, I don't know. Um, and I've had one more return come through, I think it came through um, yesterday on a Nintendo DS console. Uh, it was a second hand one, so I'm not sure what's gone on with that. I haven't had a chance yet to call up Amazon. Um, so yeah, I'll let you know what happens with that one. Um, so yeah, a little bit annoying, but you know, it's always that's what's going to happen when you when you're reselling really um oh and uh, i just wanted to say how fast my shipments went live on that on the monday when mine go to doncaster they're always they always go um you know ne next day tuesday they're live um and then usually richmond is uh, on a wednesday it tends to be you know straight again it's live again it's always great when your shipment goes live because you get a little flurry of uh, sales come in and then um, <laughs> things die down a bit and you're just like, hmm. Um, so um, I've done, I didn't want to do this, but Jamie did another UP, um, another Amazon shipment um, over the weekend uh, and he sent that up. Uh, that went today um, and I'm putting my foot down now. Um, this is going to be the last, I say this every week, We're going to, this is going to be the last one, we need to focus, well I'm focusing a lot more on eBay, he doesn't focus on eBay at all anymore, obviously he's got a full time job and um, so um, yeah, the other thing, me and Michael Taylor, we were going to do a, I put in the um, Facebook group, you know, how many items do you have listed and how many would you like to ideally have listed? I've been hovering around the 450 to 500 mark for a while now. Um, I'd really like to be able to get like a thousand items up in the shop. Um, that's that was my goal. And then Michael said that his he had a similar sort of goal. So we were going to do um, videos and see and compete and see who can get there first. And I think we gave ourselves like a deadline up until um, the end of July or I think it was the end of July. Um, I don't know if we're going to be able to do that now just because um, I know he's got to take it easy because he's been in hospital as well. Um, and I just, a lot of my attention is going to be taken away from reselling uh, over the next sort of few months or so. Um, so on saying that, though, I did message him before and asked him how he was getting on. Um, he messaged saying he was at 510 items. I think he's still got a few more to list. 
I've managed to list 23 items today. Olive is with her grandparents, that's why. Uh, I've actually been able to list, that's a lot for me. <laughs> that might be um, a normal amount for other people, but yeah, 23 for me is, uh, is quite a lot in one day. Uh, Darren Smart did something like 87 Smart Reselling <laughs> in one day. I was just, and I think he did an FBA shipment as well. I'd be able to be so productive <laughs> if I didn't have to like look after Olive. Um, so um, yeah, I'm, I'm at the moment I'm on about 511 items I think, and uh, I think he's on 510, so it's pretty neck and neck. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to put any extra pressure on to get there now. It was going to be like a fun competition, but at the moment um, I think we'll just uh, just relax a little bit and just yeah see what happens with it uh so that's everything that sort of went on this week um it's been sort of a lot of um i just like want to say thanks to the people that i was sort of messaging um whilst i was in hospital in the night time it was really boring um by the time olive was asleep um you know i had just quite a few hours on my own because jamie couldn't stay there in the hospital um and uh yes yeah, so just some private messages that were just um <laughs> just yeah um so yeah thanks to them people i think like ryan james chris royal ali tristan uh michael taylor as well um yeah that kept me entertained in the in the evening so um yeah um uh, so yeah thanks um i'll uh yeah i'll speak to you maybe in a week or so okay thanks bye